Hey Erica, it was nice speaking with you today. Uh, what I'm going to do is go over three things that you can do on your website or around to help bring in more customers. I'm also going to go over your competition and show you what they're doing and then give you a couple big pointers. Uh, the first one is that your website's not secure. What this means is when people come to your website, they're going to get a warning saying it's not safe and that they should back out, depending on whether or not they've been there or not. So, highly get that rec uh, highly recommend getting that fixed. All you need to go is your go to is your domain registrar and set up an SSL, a security ticket or security license, and that will take care of this for you. It is free, and you should uh, definitely do that. Okay, so the three things I want to go over are content, citations, and backlinks. First is content. So Google's looking for about 1,500 words or so of content in order to rank a website. So why is it 1,500 words? Well, you know, it's not a hard and fast rule, but it comes down to what your competition's doing and how many services you offer. Google's looking through all the content on your page to see what it is that your website is about. And they're trying to match it up with things that are online that people are searching for, the keywords. So like electrician Lakeland, Florida is something someone will actually search. Google's going to look at all the different words on your site to see if it's there. So I have one of those pulled up here. And you can see we have the ads up at the top of the, the page, which is a great way to get an influx of people quickly. The rest is the Google Map Pack. So how do you get up here in this, in this list? Well, the number one thing is citations. What's a citation? That's your name, address, phone number, and business URL being listed in a directory. A directory is something like Yellow Pages, White Pages, Angie's List. Those are all different types of directories that people will go to to find a list of businesses. The more you have, the higher you'll rank in here, as this is one of the major things that Google looks for in the map packs. The second biggest thing that they look for to rank in the map pack is actually to rank organically and that's just the the standard web pages you know your regular website so I, I scroll down there's a bunch of directories here to the first electricians on, on the page here mr electric of lakeland and wilson electric so uh got, got them both pulled up they have a lot of content on their page and that's probably why they're they're beating you up on on this particular search same thing with wilson electric also have a lot more con uh, content on their page and some call to actions right away which will help their conversion rates so i've talked about citations and uh, content that leaves us backlinks so what is a backlink well i'm going to go to this tool called arefs here and what it does is it allows me to look behind the scenes on what you got going on on your website it helps me look at the backlink. So what is a backlink? A backlink is a link from one website to another. So if you think about a news station giving you a good review, saying how wonderful your work was and uh, how just raving review, and on their website they have a link to your website, that'd be one link, one referring domain from the news station and the one backlink coming from that one article to your website. Not all backlinks are the same. If you've got a New station telling you you're amazing, that's great, and that's going to provide a lot of power and popularity to your site compared to something that nobody reads, like a blog or an article that nobody's ever seen before. That's not going to carry as much weight. And what I mean by that is these numbers here. So they're out of 100, uh, 100 being the best and 0 being the worst. The higher these numbers are, the more Google's going to crawl your page and look at your content and find more things linked to your stuff. The more that happens, the more people are going to find your stuff and it's going to keep pulling you up or pushing you up. All right, so let's take a look at your competition here. They got a lot more uh, referring domains and backlinks. And I know Mr. Electric's a big company, but we're just looking at their last page, their back page here, the Lakeland. And of course, they're still beating you out here. And the Wilson Electric Company is also beating you out. Not by much, but they still are. So a couple things I highly recommend taking care of. Getting your website secure, that's the biggest thing and probably the easiest thing to do. And then adding more content, adding more citations and backlinks. And that should help out tremendously. And one little bonus note. I know uh, I've been talking to a lot of business owners lately and they're struggling getting workers. And if that sounds like something you're struggling with as well, you should uh, consider doing Facebook ads for, for help. 
they do uh, you can target people specifically and it does help I've ha I've seen a, a good turnover when it comes to Facebook ads and, and getting good service people so uh, give it a shot uh, if anything if you don't mind just giving us some feedback on this video we're trying to help out business owners and we're really looking forward to hearing what you think um, this is Sean here have a fantastic day and we'll, we'll talk soon